again for Berry Science Lab. Lesson three, bowl, about bowls. So, bowls are, are one of SI units of uh, the seven quantities of the universe. Uh, the seven fundamental, fundamental quantities. So, quantity number one is length. So the symbol for length is L. And the SI unit is meters. The second one is mass. The symbol for mass is M. And the SI unit for mass is kilograms. Quantity number three is temperature, I'm pretty sure. So, quantity three is temps. The symbol is, the psi unit is, is Kelvin. Yes, correct. The symbol is I. And the SI unit is amperes. The short hand for amperes is amps. A amount of substance. So. The symbol is MOLs and the SI unit is moles. So that's what I was talking about. The, the symbol for time is T and the SI unit is seconds. And number seven is luminous intensity. Okay, thank you. Number one, what is moles? The value of a mole is 6.02 times carried to the 23rd object. Just like it, uh, the value of a dozen is 12 of something. Number two, how many moles are present in 34 grams of CuO8? Two. Now, first I go to do the one for geniuses. Then I go to do the one for people who are extremely dumb and can't wrap their head around decimals. So, how many moles are present in 34 grams of CuO8? Two. So, we have to convert grams to moles, right? So, 34 grams multiplied by, excuse me, <coughs> we want to convert it to moles to be on the top. And on the bottom, there should be grams, since we want grams, grams to cancel out. So now we're going to write the atomic mass of the molecule here. And so I'm going to write it next to the molecule. So the, uh, 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 copper's ma atomic mass is 63.5 for six plus and there, there is one atom of oxygen, so 15.994, plus uh, hydrogen 2, so two atoms of hydrogen. So let's, let's uh, do the math of that. I'll have to do the calculation. 
later. So three, 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 five, five, four, six, plus 15.9994. And our result is this. Divided by our answer is, oh, whoa, 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 0. 0.416. Man, I I have an instant of tossing this thing around. <sighs> so... 0.417 to just this 86 right here. Okay. So, how many moles are presented in 34 grams? Uh, very, very dumb people. Very dumb. Okay. So, that's, that's an easy so 34 grams times one bowl divided by I won't need the calculator for this I'll write the topic uh, <coughs> mass next right here 64 <coughs> plus 16 plus <coughs> Uh, get uh, uh, two times hydrogen, right? So one times two. So sixty-four plus sixteen, eighty plus two, so eighty-two. So eighty-two grams. So thirty-four divided by eighty-two, you got point four one four, which is a uh, which is a slightly different answer. The dumb version for number one. Yeah, six, six times the time rate to the 23. That's a bowl. And grammar, guys. You gotta remember grammar. Number three. How many moles are present in 2.45 times time rate to the 23 molecules of CH4? So now we have to convert molecules to both, right? So, we know how many molecules there are. Please point the camera there. Molecules times one mole divided by, let's uh, write the, the 23rd, Molecules. I'll just write a uh, ball black because this, it, it's in the way of the six. So this, this would cancel with this. So two point four five divided by six point zero two point point four zero six. Times how many to the zero? So point four zero six. Since uh, since anything uh, uh raised to the zero equals what? Now uh, now oop, let's not forget about the answer for dumb people. 
So, 2.45 times 10 raised to the 23 molecules <sighs> times one mole divided by 6 times 10 raised to the 23rd molecules. It's way easier to write molecules. So, 2.45 divided by 6 is 0 0.408. And then it has repeating threes after. While well, this is the pattern that goes uh, for geniuses. So that's the answer for dumb people. Now I'll have to go to this chair. Number four, how many grams is 3.4 times 10 raised to the 24 molecules of NH3? So, let's see. Three point four molecules of NH3, right? So, we have to convert grams to <coughs> molecules of uh, grams into molecules, but we can But we that's to... not possible. We yeah. have. Uh, but what is possible is converting molecules into moles, and then we can convert moles into grams. And we can actually do that all in one step. So that's a part is for geniuses, okay? Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's why I told you I had to move to another chair. <laughs> that way to the 24 molecules. It's what, right? It's way easier to write black though. So I'm writing that for the rest. Times uh, this times this. Okay. So we want to convert malak into moles, right? Malak is on the bottom and moles is on the top. So one moles means 6.02 times 10 raised to the 23rd malak. We want this and this to cancel, right? And we want moles, moles to cancel so that we can finally convert it into grams. So, if moles is on the top here, the moles must be on the bottom here. And left, I mean grams, have to be on the top here. Man, I feel like... I'm, cho I'm choking when I uh, stand on my tippy toes because of my bow tie. Okay. So. <coughs> I have to put the atomic mass in grams, right? So I'm going to do that down here since there's no space up there. So. The atomic mass of nitrogen for geniuses is 14.0067. And there's three hydrogens, so one plus 1.00794 times three. That's the atomic mass for geniuses. So, you want to use the calculator, right? So, what? Wait, 14. Man, markers ain't spelled so bad. Six, seven. Man, it's a process of how I cannot confuse this with a nine. Plus 
Last color. Two minutes. One minute. Uh, We're not gonna do last two, okay? Okay. We're going to do the other two. Tomorrow. On Dr. Martin Luther King's birthday. Time, sure. Which yeah. is next Monday. Which is not that far from now. Or I could do it on Saturday. Tell me in the comments below. So seventeen point So seventeen point zero three zero five two over how many bolts? Uh one bolt, right? So this and this one cancel. So before divide by Six point zero two point five six four seventeen point zero three zero five two divided by our answer. So second minus if you're using this calculator is Times 10, so 96.1. Okay. You know what? Let's not do the dumpy answers today.